as good as I thought oh it was gonna be, bro. <laughs> this is, what is this? Mango, apples, kale. What do you think about it? I was gonna get uh, my normal <laughs> strawberry banana with protein smoothie, and then Max got this outrageous like combination. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna get this. This is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's not very good, but you just have to understand that it's probably good for you. So he sacrificed taste for yeah. health. Yeah, man. We, we got 50 grams of protein. It goes muscle. So we're in this mall where it looks like it's outside, which gave me a really good idea. What if you made a club? Because, you know, everyone's waiting outside to get into a club. What if you made a club that the outside was the inside and the inside was the outside? Waiting in line at the Cheesecake Factory is a long line. I tried to ask the hostess if uh, my friend George Washington would help her, you know, move us up in the line. It didn't work. Okay, so currently we're negotiating what Kelvin will receive if he eats four sticks of butter. Kelvin's current strategy is to layer the butter on top. Okay, Two. it's cream cheese, it's cream cheese, it's cream cheese. It's butter. <laughs> dude, eat it, dude. It's so cute. Chipotle, chicken, Chipotle chicken pasta. So good. I'm so scared. <laughs> What's up, guys? Christian Guzman here, and uh, if Alphalete long tees weren't enough, the brand new Alphalete long jacket. <laughs> This is going to be launching next month, so get excited. Look at the quality. Um, I mean, honestly, I actually going to see if I can make it a little longer, because uh, this, isn't, this isn't long enough. But, uh, getting, it's, it's, we're gonna, it's gonna be sick. We're gonna have like six colors. Get ready for it, guys. Charlie, you, you set your hat down and, and it's gone. Not How do you feel about that? I'm about to go buy another one. Yeah? I feel like it was those guys behind us. One thing I've come to learn is the brands that cost the most amount of money are the ones you've never heard of. Like, what the hell is Zedig and Voltaire? Like, Coach? What is that? I don't know. Uh, Spanish translation with Max, La Salsa. In English, translates to The Salsa. How you doing? So whenever I travel, I always like to just take one duffel bag and one backpack. I don't like to check bags. You might be like, why, Max? Isn't that such a hassle carrying around the airport? No, because you want to know what is a hassle? Standing in a long-ass line to check your bags, and then waiting anywhere from five minutes to an hour once you get off the plane for your bag to pop out of the little metal swirly whoop doop thing. No. So I'm here at California Pizza Kitchen with a chicken pesto sandwich and a salad that was supposed to have balsamic but it's ranch it's always interesting going to the airports and like listening to other people's conversations not that i'm eavesdropping but people are sitting next to me you know and there was these two business guys and basically the conversation was like you know what sam the johnson deal has a big move for the firm so we really want to impress the shareholders in Q4, we're really gonna have to make a push for this acquisition. So, you know, send over the, the, the documents to uh, my assistant and we'll see what we can do. And I'm just over here, like, is that what getting older is gonna be like? Those kind of conversations? I don't know. Next up for my flight, Margaret Pizza. So, because of the time change, I don't get into like 8.30 tonight, so I'm trying to eat a lot now. So when I get home, I can make a shake, and then I potentially might drive over to the gym at like 9 p.m. If I have the energy, because I haven't worked out like, it was the fourth day. So, my body's hating me, but for now, I'll just continue on this Las Vegas diet and eat some pizza. My guy, pizza. So I decided to come to the gym, it's like 9.40 right now, because I've not worked out in a 
week of three days. This will be the fourth day, and I just ain't letting that happen. Gym's kind of coming together. We have the two racks put together right meow. Not sure if that's the final location. This is a piece of crap. That's not staying. Don't worry about that. And we have the dumbbells all set up. Oh my goodness gracious. That's also not a very good bench at all. That'll probably go. With some battle ropes starting on some. You can see some designs up on this wall right there. But um, slowly but surely, right? Let's hit some shoulders and some arms and some pull ups. Yeah. All right, so tonight in the gym, I just wanted to come in and just move some weight around. So really, I'm just doing like an upper body workout minus chest because I'm planning on doing chest and legs tomorrow where I can have a little bit more time and it's not, you know, 10 o'clock at night where I still need to edit up this video. But, um, you know, luckily, when I traveled in Vegas, the two days that we did work out were both leg days, which is very <laughs> not the norm of what you would do. You'd always do like chest day, right, or shoulders, but, you know, when in Vegas, you do legs twice, apparently. So it's good to be back in the gym, good to be um, kind of back in my normal routine a little bit, and I'm excited to kind of put more, more effort into the gym. And also, I've been talking to Omar over here that, you know, with all these mirrors and all this great lighting, who knows? Your boy might blow up physically, biceps and stuff. Man, I mean, just the lighting in here is insane, but we really just did like barbell rows, dips, bicep curls, pull-ups, uh, what else did I do? Overhead press, lateral raises, just kind of get the juices flowing. Didn't take any pre-workout because I figured taking pre-workout at 10 o'clock at night probably would not be a good idea. But starting tomorrow, I'm gonna get back into the groove of my normal routine. Well, maybe not my actual routine in terms of powerlifting. Speaking of powerlifting, my good friend, Josh Hancock, is coming down in like, I think a month like the second week of October, so that should be very, very cool. He's very, very strong, so get ready for that. I'm gonna have, try to set up a lot of um, collaborations, a lot of my friends coming down. Um, Christian was just here, we'll have Josh Hancock, I wanna get like Mastetics, Nick Wright, um, just anyone, Matty Fusaro, to come down to the gym. We actually have some stuff in here, but I'm gonna wrap this little commentary thing up. Enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you guys, hit the thumbs up button, and um, you, got, you got anything going more? You got anything you want to say, man? No. Ooh. Tell them what we're doing with the uh, District Barbell channel, man. We created a YouTube channel, so make sure you guys go and subscribe. Tell, tell them, tell, say, link will be in the description. In the description. <laughs> go subscribe. Uh, basically, it's kind of another point of view from all the guys, um, and you know, I think Peter's doing a lot of the filming, Omar's doing the editing, but I'm gonna put the, the channel in the description. It's District Barbell, which is the name of this gym. So you can go check it out, be a lot more, just kind of different footage that I'm filming. But uh, yeah, support us, please. If anyone could tell me what these things are, these little things, that'd be great. They're only on one of the racks, but I have no idea what it is. Maybe someone could tell me. Next video is when we are gonna start the warehouse series back up. Um, still have a lot of work to do this place. We need to go get equipment. This week is kind of hectic for me because I'm just getting my life back together from Vegas. And also my brother's wedding is this weekend. So pretty much Thursday evening through Saturday is all taken up by family stuff because that's important. Um, one thing that we're kind of contemplating between is our original plan was to get the rogue deadlift platforms for a couple of reasons. One, they look cool, right? Two, they have band peg attachments on them. So it makes it kind of convenient, but if you don't get their matting inside of it, which is another like $250, you basically have to build a deadlift platform inside of this platform structure, right? So we're debating between that or saving some money and just building two wooden deadlift platforms, which still would look really good and is very cost effective and also will work as a deadlift platform. Tons of people build their own platforms. It's very easy to do and we just need to go get some wood and you know some screws and stuff from Home Depot. But if we did build the platforms, we would just use the squat racks for any banded work because they have band peg attachments on the squat racks. So I think ideally, and it probably it's more effective or efficient cost-wise to just build some platforms and not get the rogue ones because if you get them, the matting and the platforms, it's like 700 to $900 for that. When you could build a platform probably for 200 bucks or less. 
because we already have the mats. But we haven't decided. Leave your comments down below. Rogue deadlift platforms with band attachments out here, two of them, or build platforms and then just do banded work when we do do, do banded work in the squat rack, the deadlift rack.